Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video is about a Pro Combi 100HE. And we've been called out to this boiler because someone else has been out to it and diagnosed that's the PCB. So we've come to check it out to see if that's the case, and um, we'll find out what's going on. Adam, yep. we're going to remove this case, this boiler. So if you look at this, it's just one big case, yeah? Yep. Now to remove it, we've got screws underneath the bottom here, one there, one on the other side. Yep. Undo them. There's usually one in the centre there, but it's removed. And then that should lift off. Okay, yep. Yeah. Good. We're now going to turn it on. So this should go green. Out. Now let's put a demand on this. These clocks are quite finicky to get on. So that's down, but no function. The next thing we're going to do is run the tap. If you run the tap, just try the hot water. Let's see what's happening there. So we've got some noise now. I've right, got a question to ask you, Adam. Yeah. Right. This is on heating, hot water heating. Yeah. I put the foot, I put the timer on, yeah. but it didn't make any function. So, because it didn't come on, what else do you think would stop it working? So there is demand on the boiler. Well, it didn't make any noise, but it did make a noise on hot water. So that means it, it must have had a demand for hot water because you had a pump start running. Right. But we didn't hear nothing on the heating side, so what else do you think would be stopping it the activating? Thermostat. Room thermostat, yeah. yeah. So we need to check if we've got one then. Yeah, so this is a room thermostat here. So we'll turn that off. Sorry. So we've now got activation on the heating. The thermostat was turned down. So the only thing we can hear, something sounds like just a pump. Yeah, so the pump's working, can you hear it? Yeah. But what you can't hear, you can't hear the fan running. Yeah, can't hear the fan no. no. So the next thing we need to do is get into side here, yeah. the combustion chamber, by releasing, releasing this, yeah. and that clip, pull them down, yeah. and then that cover will lift off. If you release the clips, Left off, that's it, we've gone off, that's it. Okay. So the fan unit's there. So we're gonna get our multimeter and check to see how we're getting power at the fan. Now to get to that fan, the connections, we're gonna take this side off, it's gonna be easier to get to it. So we've got a screw here and one there and then that, that side will come off. So we're just taking this off and then we'll get into the fan. Okay, just move that, that's it. Right, so this is the electrical connections on the fan. You can see the brown and blue, live and neutral. So we're gonna get, get our multimeter and check across there, see if we're getting 240 volts. Okay, so we set our meter, so it's on AC, and we're going to check across the fan to see what we get. So well, let me just get down here. Right. So black at the top yep. for neutral, mm -hmm. no black at the top for neutral. Right, stay there, don't move. Yep. I'll check what we're going to be getting here. So we're getting no volts, so no power going to the fan. Okay, take it off. Next thing we're gonna do is live and earth. So touch the casing first with the, so you're touching the case now. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and we go around here. We're getting 
194 and 195 so we're still not too far at the bottom well we've got two 200 now okay take away take it away right so there's no neutral so that means the neutral's broken I'm gonna do one more test the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull one of these tubes off from the fan go into the air pressure switch and then I'm gonna suck on it to see if the burner comes on so let me just get here and watch down there see that it lit up it sparked so it is the fan so there's no power going to the fan the neutral's broken from the PCB but if the fan was working it would make the air pressure switch and then start the ignition what you just heard then so it is the PCB what's gone and that's going to be the end of our diagnostic on this particular fault so if you like what you've seen you can give us a comment you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed and you can subscribe to our website to see more great videos like this so we'll see you on the next video